today we're in Limassol and we're visiting the Museum of Motor Cars. <laughs> Possibly. It certainly doesn't look too promising from the outside, but we'll see. Let's have a look around before we go. In. So the opening hours till five o'clock most days. We even have a few cars up here. Welcome to the number one Cyprus historic classic motor museum. We even have some cars for sale. <laughs> hmm. Might need its tire pumping up. I'm just. I'm not. I'm not a mechanic. But. Definitely not a mechanic. The Limassol Express. Old white Rolls Royce with the wedding car. And the uh, LS type Jag. <laughs> the Volvo. And the Bentley. Well, I shall go in and find out. You're grinning. <laughs> hey? Are you retired? She said, and she looked at me. Are you retired? No. Oh, they are, but. Yeah. You didn't mind. So, although it's a car museum, we've got uh, typewriters and. Mm -hmm. Telex machines and also. Oh, machine? Antique show points. Yeah, sewing machines, <laughs> coffee making equipment, hoovers. Oh, well. A lot of young kids now don't even know how to use these things <laughs> telephones. Oh look, uh, actually, I think I've got a better collection than that. <laughs> Probably. I think yeah. I have. Yeah. A friend of mine was still using his uh, 1995 Nokia last time I saw them. <laughs> I believe. All sorts yeah, of stuff, yeah. old cameras, and uh, it's normally 15 euros to get in. But if you're a senior, retired, and it's 13. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, some monkey bikes up there. Multifunction cinema, it's not bigger than I imagine. So. Why did they rust? Range Rovers, Rolls Royce, you can book this for your wedding if you want. Mm -hmm. 
Look this for your wedding. Mm. Studebaker lot. <laughs> the Humber Hawk. And above it is the Lancia. Citron. <laughs> and of course, the, the ever popular Volkswagen Beetle. Again, it's like this can be hired for your weddings. Austin A30. Hillman's. I remember my dad having a Hillman Hunter. <laughs> uh, amazingly, they've got one of these uh, Aston Martin. Aston Martin. Which was a smart car. <laughs> GBG GT Now you look under the bonnets and you go oh, well there's the engine because modern cars are just so full of stuff Jack At least you could work around and take bits in and out of these Citroen again Lion Robin. Volvo. Austin 13. Dad oh. had one of them as well. 13 of the Austin. Fiat that went on. It's the Fiat. Sold their plant to the larder factory for them. Saab. Classic Volkswagen Cabriolet and the GTI. Old Morris Police Car. Opal. And the legendary Viva. And it's got a tax disc in the window for 2010, so it was on the road till relatively recently. Again, Hillman Hunter. I actually like that brown colour, it's quite nice. And the Toyota Supra. Wooden back Morris. <laughs> classic, proper classic. Now, not so long ago, certainly within the last 20 years, you used to see these buses all over Cyprus taking wedding parties out and bus tours and things. 
so they were on the road until fairly recently but that one does look lovely and restored fire engines 1958 what a great year fire engines used to tow their own caravans around them don't they? and they've got the London double decker bus and I must say it looks in amazing condition the older ones used to have an open back and there was no access to the driver it was in a separate cabin so the back of the bus would be open people would jump on and off the bus at the back they'd have a conductor on the bus taking the fares and the driver would be in his own cab not sure what that is the MG in recent times and of course the Rover and the Bentley turbo engine oh goodness it's a beast Garrett turbo charges that of course the Ford Capri I had one of them in bright yellow <laughs> I in fact, similar colour to that. Yeah, Everybody called it the banana. Ford Sierra, I had one of them, in a similar <laughs> colour. Beige. Beige and brown inside. Same. We've certainly got cars everywhere in here and here we've got agricultural and commercial machinery it's always sad to see that uh, you know most of this equipment made in England Made in Birmingham, England, made in Scotland, Lincolnshire, United Kingdom. Made in Essex. Lathe. Pioneer steamroller, what a beast, head in Peterborough. Find this was made in Leeds. by Thomas Green and Sons the Blades the classic Ferguson made in England Such a shame that a lot of the engineering skills in the UK have gone. Citroen Maserati. Again, I do actually like the colour. The colour's great. Interior. 
and that quirkiness that Citroen are famous for and break up strange gear with the selector Maserati engine Put this for your wedding. Look at that. Ford. Nicely retrimmed. Sit in the back of your bottle of champagne for your wedding day. Vauxhall Nova. There you are. I would have never guessed you'd see a Vauxhall Nova in a museum. Lancia Deltas, Reliance Scimitar GTE, <laughs> fiberglass. Never get any rust because the sub chassis had rust. Mini Coopers and minivans. BMW. Fiat Coupe. I think a very un vastly underrated car in my opinion. The V16 Turbo is a beast. Porsche 930. Smart car Barabbas. It's a classic beach buggy. <laughs> Baywatch. <laughs> The old Mercedes, well, I had one of them myself in Cyprus, it was in 1990 something, I can't remember now, but uh, yeah, I had one of them in Cyprus, 2.3 Cosworth, and my grill went like that as well, the rest of the car was pretty cool, but the grill went grey. W123 and 124s. Five fifty SLA. Four fifties. Not some military. British got road tax on it went out in 2015 <laughs> it's British road tax that one. Oh, classic here yeah. beautiful wooden bodywork on there Classic models. Chevy Fleet Master. She started off and restored. These guys do a fantastic job, they really do. Restoring a car from that, <laughs> just amazing to that. Jack, Rover 3500. You can book your wedding cars. So, 
can book these cars. Obviously, if you're interested in anything, just pause the video. Have a look. Buses. But these, oh, even military vehicles. Go for city tours or for your weddings. Um, we will ask Mr. Bean, I'll recognise that. It's Mr. Bean's teddy. And his car. And the Sinclair C5. <laughs> of course. Man before his time. His design were a bit way out, but he had the electric transport idea collared. Oh, I remember this doing the solar runs in uh, in Paphos. We used to have a how far can a solar car go? And it's something we're not short of in Cyprus, solar. <laughs> the Opal Commander. More Opals. Again, I had an Opal once. <laughs> Rover P4. And then the Rover P5. Okay. Fleetwood Cadillac. And the Cypress Donkey Machine. First practical car, the 1886 Mercedes Benz. So it is a replica, but somebody's had to build it. Oh, what a project! Oh, I love the windscreen. <laughs> And the micro cars. <laughs> BMW. Yeah. Fiat 500, of course. Fiat 126. Tiny little things. Subaru 360, that's one I've not come across before. Japanese. The Mazda. What the diving, diving helmet's got to do with anything, really. So, the Cypress Motor Museum. Worth a couple of hours if you're interested in cars. If you're not interested in cars, then you won't be interested in coming. Mm -hmm. Well, I found it interesting, 
racing memorabilia. This collection was kindly donated. Wow. People who collect stuff. Amazing. Boys and their toys, eh? Donated by his widow. What's that? Beautiful.